Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. We're just going to show today that this, the nuclear deal with Iran is just another step towards the end days and that it's actually all going perfectly by scripture, that this is all the word of God coming. There's no real way to stop this. Um, it's in the Bible to happen, for the Antichrist to rise, for the false prophet to rise, and the beast to rise out of the sea, and for a great deception to come across the whole earth which some people say may even be some type of alien visitation because we're nearing what's known as the fifth age of the Bible and when the fifth angel comes. This guy right here, the king of the Illuminati. That's why you see these clowns all around doing weird things. The Joker, see him with the five? And he actually brings a great deception across the earth that Jesus lets happen for 42 months and he tricks everybody into idol worship. And this is the eagle granted to the woman of the Bible. Well, we're just going to show today that this, this is just another step into fulfilled scripture of the Revelation 9 beast that will rise, which is also the Revelation 13 beast, the beast out of the sea. But this is what's coming. The fifth trumpet and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Well, the fallen star is Lucifer, and he's given the key of the bottomless pit. That is what, and actually they say down here, they give him the key, and these locusts come out. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. That is the king of the Illuminati. Right there. Now, on our channel we help fulfill Acts 217, where God says he's going to show us these signs and that they'll be mapped out all across the earth. We've mapped this out for years. If you're new to our channel, welcome to the Matrix. But this all going by scripture. God has literally made all of the earth and he will remake it later. Everything that's happening is as a story. It's going right by the script of the Bible. Over here, near Cairo in Egypt, you can actually see that this represents the woman of the Bible. Right here, the woman is caught away with the wings of a great eagle. And she has a button here to actually bruise the beast's head as it says that will happen in the Bible. Then you see this dog, like the boat of Anubis, to carry the souls. See right here? This represents all of us going for the time of the crossing. And then you have Jordan. That's why even characters like Michael Jordan and stuff were on. All of these, all of the world is symbolism going right by the Bible. There is Michael, the archangel, ready to rise up. See him here with his halo? And he has his wings by Jerusalem? and he's taking the muzzle off of this dog which represents Iraq and Iran ready to rise up. See how Syria is this bullhorns? We're going to show this. This same picture is going to match everything and we're going to show that Obama has made a deal with the devil. Literally. You see this picture here? And then let's show it right. It's the same picture as right here on what's known as the Dendera chart. It has many hidden images on it. We've broken down hieroglyphs from all around the world. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. We should have figured out that we, we should have been looking at these things already. But if you look right about here, you can see Obama's face. You will start to see his eye and his mouth. If not, realize he is this Pharaoh, just as Moses had to get away from Pharaoh. Over here is Jesus. Right here is Jesus Christ casting down the accuser. And there's the woman of the Bible ready to push that button and do this great earthquake. And see the arrow? This is the ark for the souls to leave that we just showed you. And then you have the sword for World War III and Obama rising up with the beast out of the sea. Over here is the eagle ready to rise and the woman is seen as this dog. And you can see the foot is bruising this beast right here. See him right here? That is down in this pig, which represents the beast legion 
who is many as a hive intelligence, like millions and millions of demons that are as one working together. And there's the trumpet blowing right there, all perfect right in front of us. And then you can see the guillotines coming. After this arrow goes, the only way into heaven is to go to the guillotines. And it's, it's all going by scripture. You have to realize that. Jesus Christ isn't going to stop this. He lets this happen for its time. That's why all of these people are trying to destroy this age and destroy the word of God so that they can get to the fifth angel coming. That clown, the great deception. It's the same picture right here. See the red side of the world coming? See the arrow? See the woman leaving? China rising? Okay, let's finish. So it comes all the way over to here and you can see Baghdad is representing the big dog. See it right there? See how all of that is perfect? The woman, the button for the great earthquake, our ark out of here with the souls we just showed, Michael the archangel setting everything loose. It says in the Bible that Jesus will come with the voice of an archangel. That represents Jesus Christ and the second coming right there. And then these people are all set loose. He sets them all loose. And then he puts them down at the end all the way over here to Iran. Now we're going to show the devil coming. You can see right here the false prophet rising. See this guy right here? See this guy right here now rising up? Perfect, right there. See there? See how we have to go and cross over all of this stuff that's coming when this big event happens? And then the mask comes off. See that bull mask? See the mask right there and the bull? See it all coming? And then Obama is going to be revealed as the man of perdition. There we go. Now let's show the devil right inside of his head. Can you see Satan sitting inside of this person's head? This is going to involve Prince William also. There's more characters in the end times than most people talk of. There's the false prophet, there's the antichrist figure, there's two different beasts, there are several different frogs that literally turn into demons, which means people that go out to deceive the world. We have shown one of those actual frogs that turns into demons is actually going to be Prince Charles. See right here, the fifth angel coming with the key to open the abyss. See this nuclear bomb back here? The nuclear deal has been made. All the way up to here to what's known as the false prophet with these frogs that come out of his mouth. They turn into devils, meaning just like people, and that go off to deceive the world to start Armageddon. Right there. That's the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne, the star of Bethlehem. The right hand side is Jesus Christ and mercy. See the eagle leaving? And the left-hand side is the accuser coming right there with this new Eucharist for the new church. With the new Eucharist right there and the clownfish. See that right there? The Russian Orthodox Church is ready to work with the Vatican. So there you go. You ready to see the devil? There he is. You see that? See how perfect that is? So Obama, Judas, just made a deal with the devil. A nuclear deal with the devil. The symbolism is there that the USA is ready to be nuked, the great earthquake is ready to happen, and then everything will be turned over to the beast. The beast will rise up and will have 42 months to terrorize the world. Not just kill, it wants to terrorize people. This is something most people don't understand. It doesn't just want to kill you. It wants to beat you and terrorize you and make you afraid and make you fearful. It, it, this thing that's coming actually feeds on the energy of people and it really wants people terrorized. Just like during the Holocaust. It, it wasn't that Hitler wanted to kill him. He had him terrorized and experimented on and just whipped and beaten and starved and took all hope away. 
That's what it is, really. It's a battle against hope. Despair is trying to win. Well, that's what's going on through there. So there you go, everything we've been showing. Look at Satan sitting inside like the false prophet's head, right here in Tehran, Iran. There you go. Everything's going perfectly. This is the same picture as this coming. See the woman? It's the same picture as this one. This one really, I mean, this, this, this is wild. This verifies my breakdown right here. Isn't that amazing? Verified. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. God is real. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. Islam is going to rise up and will be part of the great deception of the Bible. And Jesus is not going to stop it. This is all prepared to do that, to be the great deception. The one world religion that's coming and all. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. We are another step closer to the mask coming off of the man of perdition. Hallelujah.